Hello boys and girls, it's Fog, and welcome back. And today I've set a challenge for myself to build a row of horizontally stackable bud flops so that I could build a room like this with a row of, of uh, furnaces, each of which can independently detect when they're cooking with its own independent indicator light. Now, doing this with furnaces spaced every other block is not too terribly difficult. But doing it with furnaces stacked up against one another turned out to be a bit of a challenge, as you can see here. A bit of a mess here. Let me show you how I've built this. I'm not going to do a tutorial today because you can actually see how all the components are built right here since each of them are only one block wide. This here is a standard bud flop. If I trigger an update right there, the light comes on. Trigger the update again, and the light goes off. That's pretty standard stuff. Like I said, it's pretty easy to stack these every other block. But if you stack them every block, then you're going to have a problem. Even if you figure out how to keep this redstone from interfering with its neighbor, which can be done, you still have the problem that two buds placed next to one another are going to interfere with one another because as this piston moves that's going to trigger a block update which is going to trigger the bud next to it. So to get around that problem I've built this which is another bud flop but this time the bud is in the floor right there. Now that stone component down there is just a standard bud. And the cyan is the cyan circuit is a flip-flop. That torch right there flashes, which right here, this is a monostable circuit that causes a single tick pulse to trigger this block swapper, which turns that circuit on and off. Put them together and you end up with this. two independent bud flops. Uh, this white wool, by the way, right here is just there to keep this redstone from interfering with that redstone over there. Serves no other purpose. The same thing with this repeater here. That keeps the that block there from triggering this redstone. Anyway, my challenge to you is to come up with a smaller way to do this piece. I fiddled with this for quite a while, and this was as small as I could get it. Maybe somebody out there can make it even smaller. Uh, remember that it can't interfere with that over there. So if you can do that, uh, post a follow-up video. Let me know, or send me an email, or a message, or something. Uh, this component here is 10 high and 12 wide. So can you make it smaller? Somebody out there must be able to do it. Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you again next time.